What are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about the crux of my work, is what we're going to talk about. What you guys are ready for, this is time. It's time. It's been time. It's about direction. It's about taking a human being and putting them where they need to be in the space they need to be in. In 2009, I opened a Twitter account. I said, I'm 90% therapist, 10% photographer. I can't tell you how true that is. It's got nothing to do with the photography. Your photography should be in your back pocket, should be done, should be set. You should have your go for light. You should have things firing on all cylinders. What your variable is and your wild card day in and day out is the human being that's in front of you. And that's also what makes it most appealing about shooting headshots. You have a chance to affect a life every time you do it. If you can take the best picture of that person that they've had up to that point in their lives or at that time in their lives, at that very moment in their lives, take an amazing picture that makes them proud, you've done something. It's gonna have to come through your direction. Let me tell you why. They do not know what they look like. Right now I have no idea what my face looks like. I hope my brain has it under control. I don't know. If you were my photographer, you would be my mirror. You're their mirror. You have to direct them. You have to look at them and go, oh my gosh, this face is not gonna be good. You have to refrain from pressing the button and you have to direct them towards something. Now we're gonna build up a skill set for you. And I want it to go into a routine. I have a routine, I have a shtick, I have a whole, whole thing that I do with everybody. Now it varies a little bit from person to person, but it really is stuff that works. I'll tell you, the first direction I give somebody is always, they, I point the camera at them, I'm about to press the button and they look like this. And I say, I shoot that or then I say, don't look so miserable. And immediately I get, and I shoot that and I get a real smile in the first 15 seconds that I'm shooting somebody. That's amazing. Guys, that's really, really is amazing. So what you want to do is you want to beef up their belief in your ability to get the job done, which means you have to sound smart. If you do not sound smart and know what you're doing and say it with confidence, like you have to have the confidence to say the things that you want the way that you want them done. You are in control, not them. They will be petrified. They will try not to listen to you. They not, people come in here and they don't listen to me. I'm like, I don't know what to, I, I have to whip out my squinch and jawline videos to make people do the squinch and the jawline and it's my videos. It's ridiculous. You guys, this is gonna be an ongoing thing. There's one thing that you will never master in photography you will never master your direction. You will always be a di better director tomorrow than you are today. I'm the best director that I've ever been at this moment right now. I'm infinite, I'm light years above where I was five years ago. The way you direct, there's a couple different ways. You're creating an atmosphere for the person in front of the camera. So that atmosphere is precious. You can't let anybody mess with that atmosphere, including the person standing in front of your camera. You need to create an environment that you can work in. That means if people are watching, kick them out if you can. Most of the time, that's 80% of the time that somebody watches you shoot, it's bad. Get them out. You know how I get people out? I usually say to them, if like they come with family and members and stuff, I have a room in front, I'm like, look, I, I get nervous. I can't shoot while I'm being watched. It just freaks me out. Now, all of you know that's not true, but that's what I tell them. And then I make them feel like it's on me. It's not on them. Oh, but we're just gonna help. No, you're not. You're gonna sit in that front room and you're not gonna look at me, stare at my client and change their expressions. It's not gonna work. You've gotta create, you, this is a holy land in here. This is our domain. This is our turf. This is where we roll. We don't let anybody come in and disrupt that whatsoever. You got me? Now, when you start off with direction, you want to feed them information that's valuable. The more value in that information and the more uh, decisive you are in the way that you lay it on them, the more they will be putty in your hands. If you get somebody in front of your camera and you go, hmm, okay, let's try and try moving a little bit this way and then turn this way and then do this and then, um, okay. It's not decisive. You wanna be like, turn this way, do this, do that, do the other thing, and then boom, shoot. And don't make them wait too long. Like shoot, sometimes I shoot just to get beyond what's going on. So what I'm doing is layering in directions. The key is everything that you tell them helps them look better. That's the key. And you believe it. Not only believe it, you know it. It's like ingrained in you. So everything that I throw out at my clients is to help them look better.
and they will feel weird when doing it. You have to convince them that, that, that it's not weird, it's actually cool. What happens is, is as you tell them these things, less pressure on them gives you more genuine expression. So the confidence, as their confidence goes up, it, it'll go up with you depending upon your direction. So if you're directing and you're pausing and you're, wor if you worry about anything technical, it's game over. Anything photographic, game is over. Even, I don't care if your strobe isn't firing, if something's wrong, the camera's, something's weird, I do not care. You are a professional and professionals are at their best regardless. Somebody's paying you to be in front of your camera, you're a pro. You don't have technical photographic stuff going wrong, non-issue. It should be all based on your direction. So, what are my tidbits of information? It's all based on facial, body, stuff like that. Everything, I call it direct direction. Do this, do that, do the other thing. This is one form of direction. As we get further into this, I'm gonna show, teach you about misdirection and different things I do to get them off kilter and throw them off their guard. But you always start with direct direction, why? Direct direction is turn your head this way, drop your front shoulder, jam your forehead towards the camera, throw in a little squinch, throw in a little smile, you know, tilt your head this way, suction cup to the face, all that stuff is all the stuff that you wanna do in your direct direction. And what you wanna do is you wanna start, I used to have a list on the back of my lights of all the things I would say to people. You need to develop a, a routine. The routine can be up here if you've got it. If you don't have it up here, you gotta get it on paper. Get your routine on paper, all right? And then start Hurley headshot system. Body position, face position, right? Um, hair and clothing, compose, right? And now, right before you're about to take the shot is the, the moment that you have to direct something. You have to give them something to do. So these little, I call them micro expressions when you say, hey, that's perfect, don't move. You found an angle of their face. I need a hint of a smile and a little squint. I use squint until you educate them on squinch. Let's lay this down for you. Direct direction, based on the principles that you're learning, which is jawline out first, body positioning first, then head and neck, right? So we use the jawline, we use the squinch, we use a tiny smile. This is all to convey stuff. If you wanna get them to laugh, that's different. You wanna get them moving in another direction. You wanna get them to, well, then you throw out some mixed direction, like don't look so miserable is misdirection to make them laugh. You got it? Stuff like that. That we're gonna get into down the road. For now, I want you to have in your bag of tricks your five top moves that you would say first to somebody to educate them how to look best in front of the camera. That's where your direction starts and, the, and then you can go from there. But you have to build this shtick. You have to have a routine and you have to do it over and over and over again with everybody. And what, when you change it and when you go off the beaten path is when you have somebody in front of your camera that doesn't react to the things you're saying you gotta go a different direction, you gotta do it. Anyway guys, think about your direction. It's the most important part. It is the final ingredient in, in portrait photography is your direction. So start to develop a routine and write stuff down. I wanna be proud of you guys and the way you direct. That's my thing, that's my jive, that's my jam, that's my whole enchilada, whatever you wanna call it, that's everything to me. Without it, I got nothing. With it, I don't care how good of a photographer you are. In my opinion, you got nothing if you don't have direction. Guys, if you like this video, you're absolutely gonna love what I have going on over at the Headshot Crew. It's an absolute smorgasbord of material just like this that I've been working on for the last 10 years. So click the link below, check it out, and do not forget to subscribe to this channel. I got stuff coming out just for you.